Throughout maritime history, there have been experts on the water who knew how to navigate and locate their body. These individuals held the secrets to where, when, and how. This still holds true today. Get ready for an angling experience filled with sea secrets, fantastic fishing, and great destinations. For on this show, it's only the captain and the camera. On this episode of Captain's Tales, we are sidecasting the crystal clear shallow water flats and potholes of Florida Bay. All schooled up, tailing coming in on us. A lot of fun, shallow water, this big snook sitting in these holes. On this charter, we are leaving from Flamingo, Florida, heading out into Florida Bay. Our destination is the shallow water flats that are located just south of Flamingo. On this tide, they are loaded with tailing redfish and some nice snook. Our captain on this trip is Jason Sullivan, who is best known for his shallow water fly fishing and sight casting prowess. And today he is pulling us across the pristine, skinny water, crystal clear, saltwater flats of Florida Bay. The plan today is to sight cast with spin tackle and artificial lures to hungry fish on the prowl in this crystal clear and extremely shallow realm. Big fish. Above average flamingo redfish here. Got a 26, 27 inch fish. All schooled up, tailing coming in on us. sitting right in there in the grass. All tail and school and coming at us. Put anything in front of the schools and they're gonna jump all over it. Get the fish pushing at you and they're going a certain speed. Um, and as soon as they kind of feel us or we get a little too close to them, they will either turn a certain way and speed up 
how fast they were going. And, and those fish are very, they kind of sense us before we can get a shot on them or as, as we cast to them. And those fish are very difficult to feed. In this natural world where the horizon blends into the sea, these flats are known for their prolific schools of tailing redfish, a sightcaster's dream come true. Another good 26, 27 inch redfish, nice and golden, good looking fish. Now they blend in so well, especially with this, this turtle grass here, that as soon as you catch a fish, this will really help you when you're sight fishing for these, is watching it leave your hand and just following the fish. And all of a sudden, the next shot you got, you're able to pick up what it looks like because they blend in so well with this turtle grass here. Another schooled up tail and redfish right out in front of Flamingo. Today the plan was to um, get out early in the morning and fish for, you know, look for the tailing redfish um, and the schooled redfish in, in really, really shallow water. Um, just pulling along and seeing tails pop up and schools push along and, and you know, as the sun gets up, kind of switch tactics, 
and start kind of blind casting with a little bit of sight fishing as well because at times you do see some of these fish and, and hitting the potholes. Um, you know, when the sun's up a little bit higher in the sky and it's, it's a little bit later in the day and it's, you know, you, you could have some, you know, really, really exciting fishing doing that. Uh, today we started off first thing in the morning fishing for tail and redfish um, and schooling redfish in really, really shallow water. And we, uh, I, I really like using, I think it's a really effective technique, this Gulf shrimp, rig it weedless. You know, you can kind of cast past the fish, bring it to them, let it drop. It won't get stuck in the grass as long as you keep the hook embedded in the shrimp. Um, very, very effective. Um, later, when the sun came up, we switched techniques and uh, started fishing potholes. And, you know, if I have two anglers, it works out perfect because, you know, one can throw a spoon and drag them through the potholes and the edges of them um, where the big snook and redfish are laid up in. And, you know, another angler or another technique that I like to do, one of my favorites actually, is a a uh, skitter walk or Paula skitter walk that way you know you can see the the whole the whole bite happen coming up the big you know big redfish and snook sitting in the potholes and come up and explode on your actual lure um, so you know those are two very effective techniques when you're fishing potholes and that way you can cover both you know top and mid depth of the water column and again you're you know still relatively shallow water, foot of water, so so you got both techniques. Uh, about 90% of my trips, I you know, we come down here to Flamingo Everglades National Park, which is uh, about an hour or so outside of just southwest or so of Miami. Um, we come out here and, and there's two options when you get down here. There's two ramps that you can put in. One that'll take you into Florida Bay, one that'll take you into Whitewater. Main reasons I love fishing Flamingo because there is so many different options and so many varieties of fishing that you can do in one day. South Florida native, grew up down here and actually started at a young age bass fishing. Um, fished a lot of tournaments all over the state and as soon as I got introduced to saltwater fishing, especially down here in Everglades National Park, um, you know, that, that completely absorbed me. Um, I couldn't get enough of it. And I really, I really enjoy pulling clients around and anglers around and, and watching them, you know, catch their first redfish or snook or tarpon. Um, I really, really a passion of mine to try to help, you know, anglers get on here and do things that they don't normally get to do. Well, I have a, uh, f today we fished out of the uh, Maverick HPXS um, 17 and a half or 17.8 flat skiff gets extremely shallow um, and that's where we were able to get on some of the tailing redfish and that's one of the this is one of the main this is the main boat that I fish out of Everglades National Park but I do have another boat it's a 20-foot pathfinder um, that allows me to take a few more anglers or fish in a downtown Miami area that I do a lot of at night for big tarpon and snook. Uh, today was just it was a lot of fun it was very visual um, I don't get a lot of opportunities to cast while I'm pulling at, at fish that, that are tailing or pushing or, or sitting in potholes. So to be able to do that on a day is just, uh, you can't beat it. We are making a move to the Flats Off Snake Bite near the entrance of Flamingo where Captain Jason knows this is Big Snook Pothole Territory. I'll just kind of work this area in these holes um, and just kind of keep coming back and around, swinging back and around, and you know, you can hit them one time around and you can find them again, and definitely get something in front of them and hook up again. Yourself. 
feeling pretty good. Just going from pothole to pothole, throwing spoons and topwater plugs, and came up on a school of about 100 fish or so, just milling around. And as soon as we got the spoon and topwater plug right in them, just exploded on them. Nice little average size. 24 inch redfish. Pretty cool. Sitting in the pothole, eating these little minnows that are swimming right over, blowing up these top water baits. Everglades snook, about a foot of water. Yeah. 